Hi everyone, this is Caroline. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my 3D printed smartphone case right here. I've talked about you know assembling my 3D printer in previous videos. I've talked about the mods I've done and, and what I've learned about 3D printing. So if you're interested in that, you know, I'll point you over to those videos. My observation is, you know, I've talked to my friends and family about, hey, I've got a 3D printer now, and I do make prints um, for my friends and family, novelty gifts, or just for fun. I don't print things for profit. The number one question I get from my friends and family about 3D printing is, can you make me a smartphone case. And um, actually at first I said no, because uh, I tried making one. Here is the first smartphone case I ever made. Uh, it is printed in PLA. Uh, and PLA is really hard and rigid. Just to show you, uh, so here's my phone and then I could not actually physically get this case to be a phone case for my phone here. And that was really annoying. So it this it was it was hard and rigid. So what I realized about phone cases that you buy is that they're just a little bit flexible, well, a lot flexible maybe. So they're they're flexible, and that's how that little flex uh, gets it onto your phone, and that is key. Then I start looking at printing in flexible filament. It is not easy to print in flexible filament. First of all, I had to modify my printer ever so slightly so that the flexible filament would thread into the printer. Secondly, I had to print at half the speed. This original you know, thing that didn't work took me about four or five hours to print this thing at just regular speed. So then I had to print it half as slow. So this took about nine hours to print. Not to mention it took me, you know, a couple of tries to, to get all the settings right. And, you know, just, I'm a beginner. So it was, there was a lot of user error too. Total print time, if I had gotten this done the right way the first time, was over nine hours to print this case. Uh, so it wasn't easy, so I don't really print phone cases for friends just because it's just, it's super hard. And here I am on Thingiverse. I searched and found my exact phone case. Then I downloaded the files and then I uploaded them to Tinkercad. And here I used my CAD skills to add my name and the logo here and then voila you see the phone case then i had to export the phone case and then download it and and then print it out you have cat skills that's kind of important in doing you know a personalized phone case that was a big project right there i like to call this my greatest 3d printing achievement of my life here at this point anyway so but that is the number one question i get about uh, 3d printing for my friends and family hey can you make me a phone case and i'm kind of like wow do you have you know 20 hours <laughs> <laughs> to work on this with me. Um, uh, so anyway, if I figure out a better way, I'll let you know. But uh, but just uh, but I thought this was I thought I'd just share. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.